So high runs feeling in Boston that when Nova Scotia fishermen come in, they are met by glowering crowds. The Yankee fishermen realize that with tariffs removed, the Canadians, who already command 53% of the codfish market, can invade Boston with ruinous competition. Are you the mate off the Nova Scotia boat? I am. What if I am? Why don't you sell your fish in Canada? We're paying your duty, ain't we? Mighty little. Well, when this new trade agreement goes through, we won't have to pay you anything. How do you like that? Take the tariff off our fish and we're licked. Yeah. What are the if the government cuts the tariff, over half of the fishing industry will go to Canada. The master of one hard-working trawler far at sea is sufficiently exercised to telephone to the White House. National 1414. Hello. 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 I'm sorry, sir. They say the president is in conference. Can you speak with anyone else? Oh, never mind. I'll, I'll write the letter. Quickly to Washington to confer with New England legislators headed by Massachusetts Senator Walsh, goes a spokesman for New England fishermen. Gentlemen, we could well ask for increased duties, but we're concerned at this time we're protecting the livelihood of 25,000 people engaged with the industry, an industry worth at least $100 million annually. Not only is this true for the fishermen themselves, but for the allied industries, that's exactly the point. I come from Gloucester. If we reduce to the total of the tariff on fish, it's the end of Gloucester. Quickly, back from Washington to Boston comes reply. The reciprocal treaty has been signed with no reduction whatever in the tariff affecting our fish. <laughs> 